everyone, welcome to my bookish corner of the internet. I really appreciate you taking the time to check out my booktube channel. Today's book review is on Even When You Lie To Me by Jessica Alcott. I cannot be the only one noticing this current trend with student-teacher relationships in films and movies and now in books. There seems to be this ongoing theme of people being intrigued by inappropriate relationships. If you are a fan of the forbidden teacher-student relationship, this book is for you. One of the ways Alcott differentiates this book from other YA novels on the shelf, as well as the forbidden student-teacher relationships, she breaks everything down into months over the course of a singular school year, so the reader knows everything as it's occurring. There are never any lingering questions as to when something happened, and a lot of this book has to do with the timing. I think it was really important to have this book broken down into months, because not only is it about the calendar school year, but it's about timing, everything about timing with age, to timing when things occur with the narrative. This book has to do with time, so I thought that was a really interesting choice stylistically. This isn't necessarily a spoiler alert because this line takes place rather early on in the narrative. I like you too, Charlie, he said, even when you lie to me. I really like the title of this book, Even When You Lie To Me, because once you read the narrative and then you reflect on the title, I think you can break it down and really analyze it because it has to do with lying to yourself, lying about your dreams, lying about what you're capable of. Maybe you have a flawed perspective. Maybe the person you're talking to has a flawed perspective. The word lie can be broken down to mean so many different things once you read this book. I would love to know how she came up with this title because it is a line from the book, but the way of lying isn't necessarily about trying to misrepresent yourself to someone else. You can be lying to yourself too, and so that's what I find really intriguing about this. The title has to do with potentially lying to yourself about what you desire, what your goals are, what you hope to accomplish. Are you trying to do this for someone else's benefit, not your own? I think the title is rather brilliant because once you read the narrative and then reflect on the title, there are so many ways to then deconstruct the title and try and figure out what it means to you as the reader. I really appreciate the word lie in the title because I don't think it has to do with lying to someone else, but lying to yourself, and then you can take the lie as are you lying? Are you misinformed? Are you flawed? There are so many ways to interpret this single word. I love that. I really appreciate that. I'm sure there are people watching this video thinking I'm totally overanalyzing this particular title, but this is what literature is. This is what you can do with it. It doesn't matter if it's a YA novel or a classic piece of literature on everyone's top 100 books list. You can analyze and you can interpret, and so I think that's really something fun that I did with this book. I was able to really analyze it more so than just enjoy the story. Not only did Alcott write about a relationship, she wrote about self-discovery, forming relationships with students, parental involvement, friendships, love, having goals for yourself, what you want for the future. I really appreciated the fact that this was more than just a forbidden love story. I thought that made it a better read. I ended up enjoying this book more so for those elements versus the relationship. I'm not really a fan of forbidden student-teacher relationships. I find them creepy and inappropriate. There are a lot of other themes to this book aside from a forbidden teacher love angle. I really hope you liked today's video. If you have read Even When You Lie To Me, I would love to know what your thoughts are on it, so please utilize the comment section down below. If there are other books that come to mind with similar rhetoric styles, or ambiguity of words, please let me know because that's something I'm clearly invested in and intrigued by. So if you have any thoughts, please utilize the comment section. And if you recommend a good one, I will probably reference you or give you a shout out in my next video. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a great reading day.